Good day, it's Nick here from Nick's News and Reviews. Has everyone had a good week? Fantastic. Well, that's a small talk done. So now it's time for Silkworm on the Commodore Amiga, developed by Ronald Piet Wazurkic, which I probably pronounced wrong, and published by Tecmo and Sunny. Um, based on the arcade version, and released in 1988, the Amiga version the year after in 1989. It's a one to two player game. Um, you can choose to be a helicopter or a jeep. Here it is in demo mode. A bit easier on two player with the jeep and the helicopter. I always prefer using the helicopter and that's what I'll be using because I'm one player. So here's a level one. As you can see it's a 2D scholar shoot em up. Um, come out on the Amstrad CPC as well, the Atari ST, the Commodore 64, the Nintendo Entertainment System and the good old ZX Spectrum. So it's basically blast everything and do not get killed. Right, here we go. I've also reviewed beforehand um, Silkworm 4 or SWIV. Uh, difference to this, of course, that's an over the top vertical shooter. This one came out first. And uh, this is horizontal scroller. Now, here's the first of the bad guys, made out of a number of ships. It's called the Goose Helicopter. He turns up every now and again. But this game's all about avoiding getting killed. If I get to level 3, that'd be a major success, but I definitely won't get to the end, but that's for sure. But, uh, let's just try and make it a decent length video. Uh, that timer going across the bottom there, I'm not sure how accurate that is. Uh, we've got 3 lives after this one. You can see I've got 3 helicopters on the right hand side down the bottom. Would be easier if I had the Jeep, because you can do co-ops. He covers me while I cover him. Uh, I've just collected a shield there, there's a number of power-ups, right now we've got double shooting, that makes it a lot easier. A number of different baddies, but those uh, missiles are slightly homing missiles. Now the enemy's coming in waves, right, the border's flashing, that means there's an attack imminent. But first level seems to be quite easy. Right, end of level baddie in a massive helicopter, twin blades, just to avoid getting killed, should be quite straightforward. Uh, level 3 is tends to be where I get killed. Right, so that was fairly straightforward. Didn't lose any lives, so that was good. Great stuff. I played this in the arcades as well, and this version is very accurate. Don't know how it is on other versions. Spectrum might be a bit lacking, but the Amiga version is very accurate to the uh, the arcade game. The only difference being you have to put coins in. Right, I don't know what that thing was down the bottom there. So this helicopter fires forward, and a, and a small gun firing downwards. On the two-player mode, on the jeep. Uh, it had a gun swivel, so you can fire backward or forward. In the background there's lots of little helicopters going across. Or is it just flies on my screen? Might be flies, a bit hard to tell. But they don't come my way anyway. Yeah, not bad these 2D scrollers. I, I like a good old shoot em up. Mainly because it takes no brain power. It's pretty obvious you just have to shoot at this thing. Here's the good old goose helicopter again. A bit hard to destroy. Now the Goose Helicopter is also in Silkworm 4 also. For some reason there wasn't a Silkworm 2 or a Silkworm 3, just jumped straight to 4. And I will be say a disclaimer here, um, I, I haven't seen Silkworm 2 or 3. If there is one, well maybe post below and correct my mistake. But uh, I definitely never saw it. The only thing with this, as soon as, I, as soon as you lose a life, you lose all your power ups have to start again. And if you're quite deep into the game, um, then that's a bit of a problem. Right, I've got a shield here. If another shield turns up, it blows up everything else on the screen. And as you can see, when the border flashes, it means imminent. Right, there's a big sort of like tank, but um, I think he's a sitting duck, isn't he? Just find a missile. Even yeah, that didn't take long. So although he was big, he fell quite hard. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, or in this case, explode. Right, level three. Now, any game that's got Mars on it, I'm a big fan of. I don't think this was supposed to be Mars, maybe Arizona, but look at the clues. You've got a pink sky and red rocks. That's Mars, is it not? So, for some reason, we're now on Mars. Yes, so everything blows up. And they seem to be attacking us on both sides here. There's the Goose helicopter, made up of a number of different ships. Boom! Right. I see. I killed him. Well, that, that makes a change. 
Yeah, so get two of those shields, or shoot the shield, and everything on the screen uh, blows up. But th this level is the level I normally die, so we might be part in company. Oh, what's that by the left? Oh, that's bad. Yeah, so just got to avoid those missiles. Oh, See, this is when the Jeep as a second player will come in handy here. Come on, doing well on this first life. If that isn't an announcement for sudden death, I don't know what is. Bunt. Or something. Right, more flies going across. Yeah, if we can get off Mars, then it's looking good. In the arcades, this game never ended. I think as soon as you completed the last level, it uh, went back to the start again. What's that thing? Oh, we blew it up. Some enemies are tougher than others in this. Right, what's coming along next? There's only a limited amount of different ones, it's just the pattern they uh, arrive at. Yep, it's the, it's the big silver helicopter again, Twin Blades. Ooh, he's very, oh, he's got, he's got an extra homing missile this time. But look at my gun power, how far out does his. Yes, no debris. Excellent. Right, I don't normally get this far. So it's going to be a decent length video. So that's alright then. So that means I can put it up. Right. Oh, hang on a minute. Now it's getting ridiculous. How many... Oh dear. How many missiles are on screen? Oh, this is just stupid. Right. Got to concentrate here. Right, that's him done. I don't know what that power-up does. A bit of invincibility for a while. I think there's going to come a point in this, if it stays like this, is I'm going to lose a lot of all my lives in a row. Oh dear me. This is, I think this is tougher than Silkworm 4, this. What's that across the bottom? Well, I just killed it. There's some, as I say, like the um, my first review of Silkworm 4, I don't know what this battle is about. Obviously there's a bit of hatred on both sides. But um, the amount of the amount of cost of trying to kill my, my one helicopter is not very economical. Should have done peace talks. But obviously they've broken down. So then uh, I've got to go through and shoot absolutely everyone. Oh, look at that! No, I put it to you. No one could have survived that. That's ridiculous. Has anyone ever completed this game? Comment below if you have. This is ridiculous. Who come up with this? Well, I think I'm doing quite well, considering. Yes. We've got, got one helicopter left down the bottom. That means we've got two lives, really. This one I've got here, and that last one there. Right, Double got the double power back. That might help. Right, I hope this takes as easy to get as last time. Yeah, see, that's an end-level boss, and he's, he's the weakest... Oh, dear, I say that. He looked like the weakest in the whole level. He's firing a lot of other stuff. Let's get closer. Just, just die. Just die, you tank person. Well, he's taking a lot of pummeling. He's dead. And that's the, uh, well, it might be the Grand Canyon. Who knows? Who knows? Right, some sort of ruins. I think there's been some sort of apocalypse here. Oh, oh, I'm not a fan of these. They're coming in from everywhere. Oh, dear. What are they? You see, see these ships? We can come together to form the Goose Helicopter at some point. I think that's the middle of the helicopter, isn't it? Oh, this, this is just madness. OK, what are we going for? Almost going eight minutes according to the clock, but I don't think that's entirely accurate. Right, at least you can shoot the missiles, that's a hope. Get past these cannons, and I'm uh, dead. Yeah, this, this is it, I think. Don't wanna, This is it. I'm not quoting Michael Jackson, but this really is it, this. Oh, right, I've got to shoot these out of the way or else I'm dead. Before the missiles can go for... Oh, this is close! Right, pass, good. Silkworm. I don't know why it's called Silkworm. Sort of like surveillance inspection or something. Go by, goose helicopter. Well, that shield will come in handy. These things jumping up and down for no reason. Now we've got jet fighters coming across. We did have. I, hmm, it's going to be a bit questionable if we get off this level. It's a bit too powerful. How many people have we killed? Comment below. Oh, this, what's this orange stuff? Who's firing that? Right, let's kill him. Right, silver helicopter again. 
got slightly better weaponry. We've got missiles. Should be able to take him, should I? Just, just die. As that woman said in Prometheus. Just die. And he does. He's obliged. Good stuff. I don't know how many levels this game has got. Right, we're over the sea. When I die, I'll probably be under the sea. That might be a quote for a song. Under the sea. I won't sing it. It didn't start off well. Okay, so we're in the sea somewhere. There's missiles launching like, like Thunderbirds. Yeah, this is our last life here, so expect death. Ooh, ooh, I don't like this. Yes, I think I prefer easy games, so I can pretend that I'm good at them. If only that jeep would turn up. Right, shit, that might help. I'll try and delay it. Oh, that was a waste of time, there's nothing on screen. And now we've got these odd tea kettle things, teapot. I think that's it. Oh dear, it's game over. Well, that showed you some gameplay of Silkworm, so you uh, had a look at that there. Uh, so till next time, uh, goodbye. Goodbye!